Hey guys, and welcome back to already the fourth part of the Photoshop Beginners tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the fourth tool actually here, which is the Quick Selection tool. This tool is really useful, um, like another, like a lot of other tools, a lot of other tools in this program are really useful in Photoshop. But today I'm actually going to go over this one, and this one in particular is also to cut out things, you know, cut out things from images, or to just, um, how's it called? make a selection of something just uh, i'm just going to show you here so i'm going to go to file and open an image actually this one here have a beautiful bridge it's just pretty random i'm just going in with it um let's see unlock it it's right over here there we go and make it a layer um so i'm here on the tool and i'm just going to go through yeah the, the things that are available so first of all this is what it does you drag it and it makes some selection you know it takes off bits of the image and it doesn't take everything but i'm going to go in detail about this in a little bit as you can see, it does some quick things around images. And then you have the minus one, because this is the normal one. And if you start dragging it, it will become positive or negative or minus, you know. It will mean that basically you can correct a little bit what you did, you know. You're like, oh, I didn't do that really well. Or it didn't take the... And as you can see, a little bit. sometimes there are a little bit of dots or little places you forgot. So be sure you're going over it pretty well. And then eventually you can form something you wanted in the first place. But then you can also here have an option to we can make the size bigger. So you're like, oh, you know want like this go away really quick or just audit wait just auto lot all of a sudden like this you know it's this this one is like to do the size and the hardness so hardness is basically if i put this down to like 15 it's gonna do pretty much more detailed actually of what you're planning to do so this basically means that this tool is um has a lot of options and it can definitely this is like one of the most used tools next to the pen uh, so tool that is used to uncut images so basically what you can do else if you put on the hardness on, up again um spacing haven't you really used this oh yeah you can make it like for example if you want to part here just gonna take this off a little bit yeah there you go you see you can pretty much detailed in a detailed way add some some selections here you say like okay i want a little bit of this bridge and just continue it like here yeah spacing i don't know it basically means giving it more space to um to do this thing for the rest yes um angle roundness it's not really in the importance size and hardness in this part is really important um yeah it depends on what you're doing you know actually we got something that is pretty useful in some cases okay so if you go here and we go to the second option of the quick selection tool we have the magic wand tool and the magic wand tool is with one click you remove something so i'm just going to show you're going to go right over here click and okay it makes a selection i didn't know that it was wasn't supposed to do that exactly but okay uh there you go you can see it makes selection oh wait yes it does yeah yeah if you click somewhere it makes selection automatically and you can change it every time you're not really happy and this little by little you can also cut out something you know you can see here little for little i'm i'm cutting out this image so as you can see it doesn't work that it's not that bad you know it's gonna take some time a little bit this is really precisely okay so if you're really planning on to remove something precisely as you can see it's a little bit hard time with water which is not really weird because there's a lot of details in it but this is more for like backgrounds that are like what's it called really um yeah really raw just with nothing with anything details or anything you know pretty easy background to remove so yeah now i'm going to basically go over how to show you how this tool is actually used in some way i'm going to see if we can yeah cut this bridge out pretty well so i'm going to put this to start off a little bit big to take off the big parts and then pretty much a little bit in details around this bridge you can see how how far we can get with this but the hardness around 70 maybe see if that influences anything let's do 60 okay there we go let's see um gonna start here because of course this let's see if ah there you go it already starts to put a little bit down put it on minus and correct oh there you go it, it took it pretty well that's nice okay so i'm gonna go to plus again i'm gonna go here a bit pretty sure yeah there we go that's that's good enough for the bridge of that part uh, it takes pretty well i'm not sure if i'm gonna take this part here i'm gonna try to let's just let's just do the bigger things around okay that went fast but it, it's it's good it, it works okay well as you can see it did took some things um but here as you can see it is there is missing a um this this part of the bridge you know this part it should actually do this and then go right up and this is a little bit through it and underneath but these details like it's pretty much impossible to to correct them you have to zoom really in and you have to do block for block you have to go around it and that is pretty much a challenge i can tell you that I can tell you if you start now, it's already wait well, enough to put it a minus. Let's be fair, but it's it's. I mean, look, if you're planning on do this, I mean, you can pass a whole afternoon doing this, and there are better ways, you know. I just don't. I don't want to repeatedly say that, but it's true, you know. There are better ways to do this, but um, yeah, you can definitely use this tool. So 
of good, let's see, uh, what was it? There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit and I'm going to show you for the last thing. I'm going to show you how this became. Come on, hurry up. Wait, I'm going to put it like this. Bam. Goes faster. So let's see. Um, actually, here, the selection. Let's put a little bit around here. Do the plus. Okay, let's see. Something like this. No, no, that's not good. It's the minus. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish the both. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just zoom in. I'm just going to crack it a little bit. I said zoom in this time. Correct these two things and let's see how how fair it could actually end. If you if you do a little bit of put a little bit of time in it, let's see. Let's just do a little bit of effort for this one. As you can see, sometimes it does stick a little bit against the image, which is the goal, of course, which you want to discuss. And other times, yeah, with this kind of corners, he has a hard time, unfortunately. As you can see, it starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it 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 is not bad. Okay, it's not bad. So let's do this. Let's say it's good. Uh, this is really hard. This 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 is like really hard to do. And then this maybe we can oh no that should be minus maybe we can get this one up a little bit oh, ah, that, that's pretty nice let's see if it gets oh, up yeah that should be good so let's see how you can pretty much quickly um what we can deselect okay so let's see if this works should be yes okay as you can see pretty fair part of the image now of course it is there's no way you can actually just go ahead and take off all this um, there's a way but there are people who are doing that but they're like two days of work only to get this bridge totally um worked out but it is really detailed you know that is all those images online you can see that they are pretty advanced and all background removed okay, for example i don't know you change the exposure make it darker a little bit more epic i don't know i'm just doing something here but just to show you that we can distinguish things by the way this tool is perfect for editing photos or videos might do a tutorial about it one day. This is really, really useful. Okay. Um, highlights a little bit. Okay. Just uh, just showing you guys. Okay. As you can see, I did change the background. Didn't change anything about the bridge because it wasn't selected, obviously. But that's just to show you can you can change it. And you can also do other filters, as I showed before, uh, uh, such as Gaussian blur. You can blur the background. This will remain, uh, yeah, high quality. So, yeah, that's all really pretty much it i mean it, there are really interesting things about this tool i used to use it a lot in the past but now that i since i discovered other tools like the pencil tool uh i am not really totally uh satisfied with this tool anymore but definitely could use it in some cases of course also the magic wand tool is pretty much used a lot to to cut off like see the sky is already least difficult in this part but the seas and water and everything is gonna and this mountain is gonna be really really detailed but yeah this, this this you can remove this there we go really easily so this is also a really interesting part of this tool the magic wand tool but yeah overall the quick selection tool is a good tool could really recommend it a lot of useful ways that you can actually use this tool so um, yeah just go ahead and uh, go work with something just check it out see what it does for you and your project and uh, yeah i hope i helped you out a bit in any case i hope you like this video if you did, please leave a like, it would be really nice. If you subscribe to my channel, it would also be really nice. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, by the way. We'll make a video about that, I'm pretty psyched. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.